peace, peace was good. Solly, coming back at you with another video. In this video, I want to give some tips and just some advice on how to deal with friends and family that do not support your spiritual path. How do you deal with friends and family who do not support you on your spiritual path? Many people that come into consciousness um, are first school of thought dealing with a connection to a higher source or a creator is usually through religion. So a lot of people into metaphysics, the occult, and alternative spiritual paths usually come from a foundation of religion. In our country, especially here in the U.S., the primary way to connect with the higher worlds is through religion. Now, a lot of people watching these videos and a lot of people that's into the New Age movement, into the occult and metaphysics, we kind of get out of religion and we kind of shun it. Well, a lot of times when you do that, your friends and family will also shun you. So I want to give some advice, some straight life advice for people dealing with family and friends who do not support them spiritually. You have to understand that we always say that this is a lonely path. The path to enlightenment is a very lonely path. If you happen to have someone who supports you, you're a very lucky person. Me, I have um, three boy cousins who are all awake, all on the spiritual path, all into higher ways of connecting with the Creator. So in that regard, I'm lucky, but I know that that's a rarity. I make a statement a lot of times that if you're into the different ways of connecting with the higher worlds, that you're usually the black sheep of the family. It's usually one person and they're all by themselves. So the people like that are probably watching this video and I just want to give you some advice that for one, you're going to be tempted to try to talk your family and your friends into doing something differently. Imagine you right now where you are if you have people trying to talk you into going back into the church or have you joined a church period. You're going to laugh at them. That's the same thing you're doing when you're telling people that you shouldn't be going to church, Jesus wasn't real, X, Y, Z. You're basically telling people what to do, and you're pushing an agenda on them. When you push things, what happens? You push people further away from you. And that's my advice for people who are dealing with family and friends that do not support them. Love them from a distance. At first on my path, I was worried about how my friends and family were going to look at me. But as I started to work on myself more, what happened was nobody said anything, Ali was evil, or I'm a devil worshiper, or I need to go to church. No one said anything to me. They accepted me for where I was because I accepted them for, for where they are. So I don't go around like my mom. I don't go around to anybody in my family telling them what they need to do. And this is a very important uh, statement that I'm about to make now, is you'll realize once you start to be on your path, hard body and you start to gain more light, you start to evolve your consciousness and your spiritual growth just expedites, what will happen is people will notice the change in you. We may not always know the words to say, but we know when someone is doing better in life. And when you take this path and you start to evolve, your friends and family will notice the change that you have in your life. And they may start even asking you questions about what you're doing. You might hear my cat in the background. He's trying to get out of the of the room, but I'm not going to stop the video to let him out. But just want to make this real quick video just to give some some uh, advice. I know a lot of people struggle with this. A, love her from a distance. B, don't push your agenda on them and just grow as much as possible. And trust me, they may even start to ask you questions. And best case scenario, they'll just leave you alone. So this has been Ali. If you want to know more information about myself and what we do, make sure to visit our website, thirdeyeactivation.com. Until next time, peace.